Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me once again in the studios of Black Band Solutions. So in today's video tutorial, I will be walking you guys through another step by step with no steps skipped on how to create a wedding invitation card. So something like this. But before we begin, let me use this opportunity to say a very big thanks to you for clicking this video. If this is your first time of being in here, this is Black Band Solutions and we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials. So if you think videos of this nature will be of great benefits to you, then I encourage you to hit on the subscribe button. Make sure to check the bell icon to all so as to be the first person to be notified whenever I release new videos. If you're already a part of this wonderful and lovely family, thank you so much for showing up once again. Without any further ado, let's quickly jump right into the video and let's begin. so you could see that these are the resources that i'll be working with okay so these are the flowers i call them flora that i'll be working with and um, i have a ring png format here and i have my text here as well so i'm working with this text all right so let's jump right into the world of photoshop so to begin we'll create our document by coming to the file type click on new and let's choose international paper in here and let's select a5 right so that is it so we work in rgb mode and uh, the background is white we like it as it is and uh let me name this wedding all right so uh, when you are done in here just click ok and let's begin so this is our canvas then what i'm going to do first is i'm going to applied a solid background color here so come to my adjustment fill okay and let's add a solid background color here and i'm going to use a, a, a color of this hexa code ffe 7 cd hit okay when you're done with that and there you have it that is our hexa code that we will be using right good so the next thing we are going to do is actually we'll be doing our typing but before we do the typing let's quickly import our images then we would start with the typing so i'm going to do the importation of this image all right so i'm going to place this in here turn it this way and i'm going to shift it here this way uh, i guess this is a shooting so I shoot it this way right okay all right so i'm going to duplicate this image ctrl j to duplicate it and i'm going to press ctrl t on my keyboard right click on it and let's rotate this 180 degrees right sorry this should be done the other way rather okay i guess it's okay 180 degrees is okay so let's turn this this way and let me shift this in here this way So hit enter when you're done ctrl t and let me do a good skill here uh, i guess this is okay shift this one backwards a bit and uh bring this one down a bit okay so we i think this is looking nice all right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the names of as in the type the text. So I have the text in here. So I'm going to just copy and paste these things in here. So with your type two selected. And uh, control V to paste this. So I'm using a font by name Nevis. That is the name of the font, Nevis. Right. So I'm going to pull this up here a bit and I'm going to copy the next text Mm. 
so I'm going to select both layers and I'm going to align this to the cent to center as in align it in the center and what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the font of the gem fee by coming to my character panel here now if you can't see this character panel just go to windows and choose character here not character style just click on character you see mine is checked so I have it here good so uh, I'm going to increase the sorry so I'm going to increase the size of this to about let me say 10 so I'm going to select the next layer which is this and I'm going to increase this one to 9 a bit all right so we have this here select both layers and let's align this to the center Let me shift this up a bit. Okay, I think this is okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type the name, which is Samuel. Samuel also, I'm going to use the same uh, font type, which is Nevis. And the color is, this is the header code of the color, A92048. Okay, that is the color I'm using. You can as well change this to that. So, I'm going to make this 12. Maybe as time goes on, I'm, I might choose to increase this. So the next thing is I'm going to type my other name, which is Jemfi. And now with Jemfi, I'm going to be using a font name, Great Vibes. All right. So I'm going to make this small, not caps. And I'm going to increase this to the last size. Good. So I have um, James Fee here. So eventually I have to increase some more. I think 24 is too much. So let's say 18. Good. 18 is okay. So. All right, so I have some more and gen fee here for me. So I'm going to group this control J, select both layers, and let's group that so we can easily move them anywhere we want to move them, right? Good. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this same layer control J, and I'm going to shift that one here as well. So the somewhat will be turned to Juanita. Paste. There you go. And gen fee will be turned to let me ungroup this so I can easily work with the layers. Then, then gen fee will be turned to uh, Carlos. So C A R L O S Carlos. But in this case, Juanita will come down whilst Carlos remain on top. Good. So now I can group these layers together. Control G. And I'm going to put this here as well. My next text is A, A and D. And I'm going to put this in here. I'll be using a font by name, Saint uh, SCH. So that is the name of the font. I don't know how to mention this name, but that is the name of the font. So that is the font I'll be using. Okay, good. Why has it not changed yet? Okay. So I'm going to reduce this size to about 14. And there you go. So let me put what the end inside one of these layers. Okay. So let me group both la layers, right? Or oh, before I group, let me bring this in here. Then bring this there, this way. Then this, yeah, good. So now I can group both layers select this layers and control J to group them so I can name this name right good so name is ready now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my date so uh, the date is uh, 20 did I say 20 I actually have to type this so the date is
So I'm going to pick a rectangle, my rectangle to, and I'm going to draw a shape like this, right? Something like this. Something like this. All right. So I don't need a fill color, but I need a stroke color, right? So I'm using a stroke of the same color as this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select one sample color, decrease the size of this to 1.5, hit enter, and select our move to there you have it. So I'm going to change the color to that of the hexa code of this one. So the hexa code was what? A92048. That is the color I choose to. Maybe you have a better color, you can as well uh, use that one. So we have A92048, right? Okay, that's it. Good. Then the next thing I'm going to do, did our color change? No, it didn't change. What happened? Okay, let me add a layer style to it. Anyway. So let's add a color overlay. And... Uh, so A9 two zero four eight right good. So let me rasterize this layer by right clicking here and let's choose rasterize layer. Now I can use my mark rectangle marquee to and divide this line. Good. I don't need the end part. In here, I don't need this. Good, and I neither need this. All right, sorry. Good, and press Ctrl D, and there you have it. So now we have this looking nicely and uh, I can select all and group them. So with the first layer selected, let me look out for the last layer and group them. So with the, the Saturday is the last layer. So, so let me start that over again. Hold your shift key and Saturday is the last layer. So control G on your keyboard and now we can turn this on and off, on and off. All right. So that is it for the date now we'll be looking at the venue but before let's align this to the center with the background so with that layer selected select your background and let's come to the alignment part where we can align this to the center good so we have this nicely done all right so now the next thing i'm going to do or the final thing even is the venue of the wedding program right so this is happening at to be copy and paste all right all right be good and now i can select both layers and i'm going to work with this Okay, so and there you have it. I was actually looking for this one too. So there you have it. Last and finally, we have who you are to contact when you are lost. So as in the protocol, zero two six four four three five. Four eight zero one. So when you are lost, you have to call this number, and you will be found. All right, guys. So this brings us to the end of the video tutorial. But before we begin, before we leave, let me add some final touch to this, and let's see how it turns out to be. So I'd want to add a noise background to this invitation card. So uh, with this solid ground layer selected we would come to filter and let's choose noise and let's add noise 
So it says the fill for this layer must be rasterized before proceeding. It will no longer be editable as a fill. Rasterize the fill. Okay, so let's click OK and there we have it. I think this has changed the color. That is too much. So let's try to reduce by dragging the radius to the left. And this is too small. So let's bring it back a bit. Okay, so you can decrease or increase your radius if you think you're okay with that then you click okay by applying that effect filter effect to your design right so let's click okay if we are okay with this and i think this looks much should i say much better than before so uh one more last thing last this is the last thing so uh actually we have our last resource here that we need to bring on board which is the ring so uh let me import it and place it somewhere here all right so uh let me increase the size a bit and uh hit okay and there you have it so this is actually looking too much so let's reduce the opacity of it a bit this is great this is great this is great this is all right so we can as well make a duplicate of this control j and maybe shift it down here and maybe we use a size to something small all right so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial if you really enjoyed yourself or you learned something in here please do well to hit the subscribe button not forgetting to check the bell icon to all so as to be notified whenever we release our new videos make sure to also like the video and share your thoughts by leaving them in the comment box below until i come your way next time thank you so much for choosing blabbing solutions and see you in my next video